Where is the rental market headed in New York City? All right, so an article came out this week that rents in New York City have hit an all-time high of $5,000 a month. That's just crazy. So where do I see the rental market? All right, so let's think about last year. The vaccine came out and most Americans, younger Americans, got the vaccine May, June, July. And that's about when New York City started filling the vacancies. All those apartments that we saw in the news that were completely empty and buildings, they started to come back last year. And a lot of landlords who would normally sign a one-year lease decided to sign a two-year lease because of all the uncertainty and they just wanted to keep the, their rent rolls coming in and people inside the homes. So with that being said, a year later to where we are currently, we still don't have those apartments on the market and available. They're all locked up. You know, let's just say for an example, a one bedroom during that time was renting for 2,500 a month. That same one bedroom in the building is renting for like 5,200, but the landlord locked up the lease for two years. So that's why rents have just surged in New York City because it's supply and demand. There's a shortage of inventory. So what I see forecasted for the, the year ahead, I don't see rents staying where they at the current level they are and the highs that they've been hitting. I do think once those apartments come back onto the market, we are going to be uh, seeing a softening in prices. We'll have much more inventory. Stay tuned for more information.